Peepalonians, and welcome to another sketchbook tour of going through old art. <laughs> we shall begin. All right. We open in on a test page of stick people. So this was using different colored pencils, and then I got like this set of pastel pencils. I always seem to lose these somewhere, like I will like find them and be like, oh hey, I finally found them, and then they'll just disappear again. So they're, they're currently lost time, but maybe I'll come across them in like a day or two. Okay. We have a random illustration, a girl. Coloring with pencils, very, very smooth blending. <laughs> Eyebrows ghosting through her hair. Oh, this is my character Kikashu. With her blue hair. It's like the colored pencils like blending with the regular pencil, so it's just like ghosting away into nothingness. Uh, then we have another random person. Looking happy. Oh, and then we have this fairy with very oddly shaped wings. Like, I don't feel like those would be... I don't feel those would be good for helping her to fly. But she's kind of cute. <laughs> then we got a little kitty who looks a little mischievous. And we got a little mouse in the style of, like, the Hamtaro hamsters. <laughs> Little tail. Ah, I have a mark to redraw this. This is my character Kikira, one of her many redesigns. Ooh. Looking cool. Very bright necklace. <laughs> a dramatic eyeball. I feel everyone is just every artist. Or even people who aren't artists at some point have just drawn an eyeball. Just because they're like, eyes are cool, and then just like, drawn one. So here's like dramatic eye. Then we got Kirby, zero two, Kirby running, poyo poyo poyo. Oh, and then we have a scene of puffballs and puffball creatures. The guy who's happy that he has found land. We have one setting off on a journey. There's a storm in the background. There's a storm in the background as I'm filming this video. We have this dramatically eye-shadowed fairy puffball. And then there's just guys fishing and lots of fish, a mermaid. And then this is a little pom-pom home. There's like a one just flinging off into the air. Pom-pom home. Ready to catch fish and like cook them. Beds. And this mom is like, please cut the watermelon. And she's letting her child with a very large knife attempt to do this. Um, parent of the year. <laughs> we have another fairy and a beautiful side profile. <laughs> we got Torchic. <laughs> Pencils like on the other side. Eee. Uh, I had like a paper craft of this character who I believe is from like Toho Project. Um, I, I tried to draw her. Of this person. They look disappointed. <laughs> Just like, okay. Oh, this is me trying to do chibis. These do not look very chibi at all. <laughs> Little pom-pom home, a cat, there's Kikashu, there's Saikiki, aka Kikira. Then we got another one of Saikiki. You can see the wonderful spelling of when I meant psychic, but instead put the word for <sighs> instead. <laughs> Side. Oh, we got a cat girl. Probably the first of many that will appear in here. Uh, stick people. More stick people. Stick people in cool dresses. Yeah! Star! 
It's like, no stars, puffball named star. Puffball. Woot. Ah, uh, yes, the word woot. That was a time. That was a time. And this is just the cool outfits and things. Neko fashion. Ripped clothes, nothing the same. Netting, bracelets, anklets, features. Cat ears, cat tail, cat paws, short hair, acts like a cat. Short <laughs> abilities. Very flexible, ninja-like, anime, manga. Uh, <laughs> honestly, me after reading <laughs> I feel like this is when we start entering my like full on cringe era, but like, you know, we got to embrace your cringe of your younger self. <laughs> Nekomag. And this was like a character designed off of that. I should redraw her. <laughs> It'd be fun. I still enjoy drawing cat girls, but like there was a brief time where I had like an obsession with it. Deli, bakery, V's, that was my fictional restaurant chain, restaurant like chain that was like a knockoff of McDonald's. <laughs> we got the chocolate fault. And then like milk lake, so you could buy chocolates all, so at the chocolate vault and get like milk from the milk lake. And then there was like a free cereal section. I don't think this would be very sanitary. Also, there's a guy who's accidentally fell from the bakery into an endless hole. And this guy who's trying to save him. And this puffle's like, why do we have an endless hole? I have no idea. Free chocolate syrup! Milk. I've always wanted to like do another one of these now with like my more skilled skills. Puffball. And Kirby sucking puffball. Kirby. Kirby sucks up a stick person and explodes because Kirby can't be anything but round. Save for Minecraft Kirby, who is a cube. <laughs> uh, and this is like a character who looks like a knockoff Miku. But instead I've just like gone full on with like this is just a Miku design, my own. She is a magical bread salesman. That is all you need to know. <laughs> Uh, this is a maid cleaning, sees a cat in a maid outfit, and she's like, Oh my gosh, if I don't do this job right, I'm gonna be turned into a cat! Ah! Yeah, <laughs> that's the story. Ah, uh, random woman in a field being happy. Isn't that what we all want to be? <laughs> angry Kirby is angry at you! Ah uh, yes, because I was sticking to how like mad usually means like insane, but not angry. So I was like angry instead of like angry Kirby is mad at you, it's just angry. <laughs> Got him the maid, the maid character. Ah, uh, we have a stick person OC, I was gonna be like excellented. And it was gonna be like, you know how there's a bunch of those like flash stick animations and stuff? I kind of wanted to try making them myself, but I never did that because <laughs> it's time consuming. <laughs> Animation is time consuming. <laughs> I'll still probably do some thing in the future. Oh, this is somebody I knew as a cat girl because she kind of radiated like anime character energy. We got a fox with many tails. And a look in their eyes. Um, we have this fairy with interesting makeup. Noses were really far away from mouths. That lasts through a lot in my art for quite a bit, but that does get fixed eventually. Oh, this is like she's like a server and she's like overhearing some juicy gossip behind the door. And she's like, ooh, leaning in to hear it. And this happened purely because I just ended up drawing her slanted, so I was like, I'm just gonna lean into it and create, like, a story out of it. Ooh! Anyway. <laughs> Shouldn't you be vacuuming? <laughs> she just looks sad, like she's about to cry or something. <laughs> she's just, like, rude. <laughs> 
Oh my gosh. I think this, this I was like used to watch the local news a lot and this was like a portrait of one of the news reporters because I thought she looked cool. Um, another maid. I had like a brief obsession with maids if you can know. <laughs> Uh, and then those girls, I turn them into maid-themed magical girls. And I have a note to redraw them. Which, you know, maybe I will do a video where I redraw them. That would be really cool. <laughs> and so they all got, like, their own weapons. She's got, like, a large sword. She's got a bow. And she's got, like, two-handed swords. They're ready to fight evil. Clean up crime. And we got a big a bird walking. Cute. <laughs> uh, she's just like lovingly looking across somebody at a restaurant. Ha. <sighs> my drawing of the Hatsune Miku. Oh my gosh. Ah yes. Miku. Iconic. <laughs> Very cute. Puff, an all new anime movie. That anime puffball freaks me out. I know. <laughs> it's kind of cute. Yeah, I had like a version where I was doing like anime puffball and use like the style of like the Hamtaro characters for their eyes instead. Okay, is there any other stuff to clean out? Yeah, yeah. A new meeting place. Oh, it's like, is there any other stuff to check out? Yeah, a new meeting place because they're stuck meeting at school in the janitor's closet. And there's a secret meeting between the magical girl maids. Though I do realize the humor of them being made the magical girls meeting in a janitor's closet now. Very clever, younger me. <laughs> Very clever. And then the janitor's like, how did you girls get in here? <laughs> the door was unlocked. <laughs> That shouldn't be as funny to me as it should. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, we got a cute little alligator. You know, this reminds me of like that game that came out called like Later Alligator. Kind of reminds me of the little alligators in that. Um, oh yeah, it was almost, like got in I was also into Animorphs at the time, so you see this character morphing into like a cat. And then we got a puffball morphing into a stick person. <laughs> And then she's just like, happy face! Yay! I am really happy. <laughs> oh, uh, and then we have a kid. I remember drawing this while in a car. And I drew a girl like upside down in a weird outfit. I think I ended up doing her sleeves like that because I didn't really know how to draw her hands. And this like gave an excuse to easily cover them. Also, her feet should probably be pointing up instead of like that, but okay. I should redraw her. <laughs> There's a penguin waving. Classic me. Attack of the Styrofoam Peanut! An all new horror film. They're running out of ideas. Yeah. I would watch the movie of the Attack of the Styrofoam Peanut. Oh, then we got a cat, which I took time to shade it. It's kind of cute and kind of evil. I love it. And we got a dog. Yee. Looks uncomfortable, but like happy. <laughs> then we got this girl with eyeshadow. to the next page. Oh, we have another page dedicated to a dramatic eyeball. My eye drawing skills were not that good to make this look cool, me. Why did you do this? Because <laughs> it was fun and I wanted to do it, that's why. <laughs> oh, this is me trying out like a different style of eye. And this was a character I made for like one of my comics. 
and she would always just do dumb things and have somebody who's like, she thinks such and such is such and such. She's an idiot. Which is kind of mean, <laughs> but she was fun character. I really liked her. Uh, we have a character dramatically being blown through the wind. We have this sad girl being dramatically blown through the springtime. Foom. That's very happy. Then we got a cute little schoolgirl character. Boop doo doo with big tails. Another cute little character. Blushing. She's like, oh no. Or embarrassed, who knows. Then we have this dramatic lady being cast to the background dramatically of a screen. Slay. Oh, and this was something I thought looked really gross when I drew it, but now that I look back on it, I'm like, that wasn't as bad. Sometimes I look at the drawings and I'm like, ew, this turned out terrible. And it'd be like, it wasn't that bad. Like, really, me, you were being dramatic. Oh, and then we got, like, this cute girl. She's in, like, a prom dress, I think. Yeah, this is, like, her friends and like, their prom dresses going to prom. Because prom. Just kids. I'm sitting there and a girl looking cool as they stand by a bridge looking out on the thing. You, you can tell she's cool because she's wearing a hat with a brim. Um, we got Pikachu in a costume. This was called Meta Pika. It was like a superhero Pikachu. Another random girl. <laughs> There's a lot of just like random girls in here. <laughs> it's kind of cute though. I feel like she would she would battle people to the death though, but like for for good cause. The person peace sign. Outfit. And then this was me trying to draw, create a Hatsune Miku pull-up doll. Because that had not existed then. So I was trying to imitate the style of those. I'll put like a picture of, of one. Specifically the Hatsune Miku one. Because like I predicted the future with this. And so I was like, oh my goodness, I predicted the future. <laughs> Ah, then we have like these lovely ladies going to prom in their cool dresses. Yeah. I was really into doing like the peace sign things like that. <laughs> and I have a note on here that I should redraw them, which I probably should. <laughs> then we got L Miku flying around with a bunch of leeks in the air looking happy. Um, my brother wrote that like her name and like the Japanese characters over there. So, got Hatsune Miku thinking about leaks. You got Miku with her hair down in a pajamas with leaks printed all over it and she's got Pikachu um, slippers. Bo pi po pi po po pi po. Po pi po Miku, cause that was the first Miku san I had ever heard, Vocaloid san I'd ever heard, was Popey Po. Then we got Miku with a side ponytail. I think you can tell I got into Vocaloids at this point. <laughs> um, this was my character Saikiki. I think I was trying something a little bit different and it looks nothing like her. We got Miku, I drew her hand weird and backwards. But she looks happy, but also terrifying, but you know, cute. Another chibi Miku. Allison. Oh, I was trying to create a character. I had lived dolls and I was trying to create like an idea or concept for a customization. That was like kind of gothy emo-ish. And we got this character in a weird outfit. Got Shinku from Rosen Maiden. Woo! Then we got this random lady. 
Then we have Lady Gaga. Ooh, Lady Gaga fan art. <laughs> I was just making up an outfit where she is a star. That is the concept. Um, then we got another random cat girl. Uh, th this is not Shinku. It's a rip-off Shinku that I created. <laughs> um, got a Kirby. We got a Kirby in a wig. They're very cute. Oh, and this is uh, actually a pull-up doll as well. I'll put a picture of her on screen. As of Kelsey. And I drew her in one of her outfits. And then this is my character, Saikiki, yet again, Kikira, uh, in like a bodysuit. I was trying to design a bodysuit for her to wear. So that's how it turned out first try. Then we have this girl in the window. Then we got Kikashu in another outfit. Kind of cute. I should try and attempt to redo this. I feel like everybody's default expression is like happy or depressed as heck. <laughs> oh, we have another Lady Gaga one where I designed a cool outfit for her again. It was supposed to be like bright red, this outfit too. And it was gonna just like snake around her and look cool. Giraki show! I did not finish this because I just did not like how it was turning out, so she is forever left without the other foot. She's left incomplete, like Segunto. Uh, then we have a theme of magical girls based off of animals. Definitely not ripped off of Mew Mew Power. Totally, yes it was, but... <laughs> um, so we have a bunny themed one. She's like a magician thing going on with her kind of powers. Um, she was supposed to be a dog, but then my sister was like, she looks like an owl, so she's a dog owl. Of course we have the cat, complete with Ninja Star and Katana. <laughs> um, then we got a plain cat girl. Uh, we have another drawing of Shinku. As you can see, my skill level is a little bit better here. Looking <laughs> cute. And then we reach the end! Woo! Yay! And that's the end of that one. Well, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. If you have things to say about what I should redraw, if there's anything that stands out to you, leave a comment. And if you'd like to see more from me, subscribe. Bye!